first look at pixel extended rom running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro what's up peeps munchy here back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at pixel extended rom running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro as you can see i am running the official build of pixel extended security patches from august 5th 2020 android version is of course 10 and the kernel they are using is perf kernel do note that the rom is based on pixel experience which means you do get pixel launcher out of the box and if you go into styles and wallpapers and go into clock you will see that you have a bunch of lock screen clock options and they are just too many to list and then if you go into style and try to create your own custom style these are the different font options which you get and then here is your icon styles tapping on next you do have a bunch of accent colors added as well and then we can look at the icon shape so here are the different icon shapes which you get and of course you can then give it a name and apply that specific theme which you just created next up we can have a look at the quick setting options which we get so here are the different options which you have and if you tap on the edit button these are the other options which you can always add to your always on display settings in terms of screen recorder you do have a screen recorder baked in but it does not have the option of recording internal audio so i guess we'll have to wait for android 11 custom roms to pop up before you get the option of recording internal audio another thing to note is that you do get quick settings blur so as you can see as soon as i access my quick settings the background is blurred out and another thing you should note here is that you do have android 11 style notifications so as you can see it says over here alerting notifications which is a notification of the screenshot which i had taken next up we can have a look at the volume panel so have a look at that super smooth animation of the volume panel popping up here it is one more time and of course this is the volume panel from paranoid android and it is pretty smooth and pretty useful then we can have a look at the recents so there it is recents in the building no jitters no lags super fast and the same applies for the animations which you get with this build there are no jitters no lags and everything is smooth we can also try switching between some applications here it is switching between applications is smooth as well next up we can go into settings and have a look at the different customizations which you get with the pixel extended rom for starters we can go into apps and notifications see all apps go into chrome tap on mobile data and wi-fi and bam here it is you can control your data access to an application so whether you want it to access wi-fi data cellular data background data vpn data you have toggles for all of those options another nifty feature you will find is if you go back into apps and notifications and then if you tap on notifications scroll down tap on advanced you have a notification log so from here in i can see what notifications i got at what time so this i think is a very nifty feature other than that you will see that all the setting options have a pretty cool looking animation on the top so here is the animation for apps and notifications here is the animation for sound we have similar options for location also here is the animation for location so this is something which is different and i think bliss rom was the first rom to implement this feature next up we can go into battery you do have per app thermals so you can choose what all thermal profile you want to use for a specific application and here are the different thermal profile options which you get other than that in battery you also have aggressive battery in case you want to save some battery and you also have smart charging so once you enable smart charging your battery will stop charging at the trigger level which you choose over here and this is good for increasing your battery life moving over to display we do have dark theme in the building and we also have live display so you can calibrate your rgbs and you can also configure your hue saturation intensity and contrast to your personal taste adaptive brightness is also present and if we go into advanced 
and then if you go into lock screen display this is wherein you can customize your always on display whether you want to see the media cover art on the lock screen or not whether you want to see the music visualizer or not and you can also change your fod animation effect so right now it is set as aod however you do have a bunch of options over here to choose from and in case you want to have aod on all the time you have a toggle for that along with waking it up only for new notifications if you tap on advanced you can of course configure your aod along with raise to wake hand wave and all those different options so that's about it for lock screen display going back you have double tap to wake and double tap on the status bar to sleep you have toggles for all these options as well and of course you can configure your anti-flicker mode in case you want to enable anti-flicker mode and dc dimming that is also present in this rom along with changing the switch style so right now it is set as default let us try contained and bam there it is our switch style just changed we can also change it to retro so you have a bunch of different options for your switch style as well next up we have sound so in sound you can of course link and unlink your notification and ringtone volume in case you want to go into advanced you have multiple toggles for these different options you do not have the option of setting a different ringtone for different sims however direct sound enhancer is baked into the rom moving over to security herein you have your normal security measures like fingerprint password pin and you also have face unlock which works absolutely fine and while we are talking about security do note that it does have screen of fod as well and here is a small demo of screen of fod bam working like a boss with no issues to report next up we can scroll down and go into system herein you will get customizations for your front camera sound effects so whether you want the led on or off and what are the sound effects you're looking for when you pop up your front camera then we have gestures so you have jump to camera you can configure your system navigation you have three different options to choose from i am using android 10 gestures right now you do have a toggle to hide the ugly navigation bar pill but an option which is missing here is the option to hide the back arrow then you also have three finger screenshot works absolutely fine along with adaptive playback what is this adaptive playback well adaptive playback lets you pause your media or music whatever is playing as soon as the volume is reduced to zero and it will be paused for the specific duration which you select over here and if within this duration you increase the volume again the music will start playing from wherever you left off so a pretty nifty feature and i think paranoid android was the first rom to implement this feature then if you go into buttons you can of course configure your system navigation and you can also configure your edge long swipe action so right now it is set as open close menu let us try changing it to screenshot and how do you know that you are accessing the edge long swipe action well the arrow changes to a double arrow so here it is it is now a double arrow and bam there it is we activated the edge long swipe action and it took a screenshot then you have customization for your power menu and you also have the option of advanced restart along with what you want to do with the volume buttons do you want to wake your device do you want to answer a call using the volume button do you want to control your media playback so you have toggles for all these options as well moving over to device customization you can enable or disable your network traffic indicators along with what all icons you want to see in your status bar then if you want to see the volt icon or not where do you want to see the clock left right or center then if you want to see the seconds am pm style what is the battery style you're looking for icon portrait circle or tech and whether you want to see the battery percentage do you want it inside the icon or next to the icon i just use text and that's about it next up if you want to see the brightness slider in the expanded quick settings or not you have options for that toggle for adaptive brightness then if you want to use the status bar as a slider for brightness control you have a toggle for that as well quick pull down right now it is set as off if we change it to right swipe from the right the quick setting tiles are 
expanded. You can always configure your tile visibility, vibrate on touch, quick setting tile stint, and your number of rows and columns in both portrait and landscape mode, whether you want to see notification headers or not. So this is your Android 11 style notification headers, blur behind quick settings. We already talked about it and your quick setting animations. So right now it is set as flip. So if I tap on it, you'll see that it is doing the flip animation. Let us change this to rotate and bam, there it is. The icon is now rotating. So these are the different customizations which you get with pixel extended ROM. Now out of the box, you do get ANX camera baked in and this is the new version of ANX camera which does have vlog mode time lapse short video and all those different features which were added with MIUI 12. Now another question which I get a lot is what about safety net so my device is not rooted right now however I have installed magic manager and as you can see safety net is passing which means that my banking apps should work without any issues and there it is peeps that was our first look at the features of pixel extended rom running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you